All right, everybody. Real talk. So, I have already done this episode, strangely enough. This is the second time I'm recording this because at some point, you know, I've got two monitors in front of me. And basically what happens is, is that I take a look at things and make sure that all content comes out properly. However, halfway through recording this episode, at least the first time, I found out that, um, well, long story short, uh, basically what happened is no audio was coming through by my microphone, so I had to reset that. Now I know exactly what's going on, so uh, that's no longer a issue. Let's go to war! Let's go to war with these uh, boyos over here. Um, where do we want to be coming from, really? Let's come in from Beta Refuge. I think that will be uh, a better approach here. Uh, okay. Yeah, basically, I had some, I had some audio issues, but uh, I already know what I already have a vague idea of what's gonna happen here. Uh, but of what I'm doing is exactly what I already did beforehand, anyway. So it's not like uh, what you're seeing right now is different from what you would normally get. So my apologies for that. Sometimes we just gotta fake the first five minutes a little bit. But uh, these are like, you know, uh, a little bit like uh, like raising the veil, so to speak. But we want to be smart when it comes to our fleet stuff. Okay, so you're just jumping in right now from safe. Uh, this army can just hang out right around the corner over at Beta Refuge. I was going to have you do this and... Let's have the rest of the fleets jump in right here, right before... Uh, we should be okay with the distance on this one. We should really start considering System. turning this off at some point. Uh, yes, we are continuously building more and... Okay, uh, this is not a good idea because we have not declared war yet. Um... If we do this, we're going to lose control of all of our fleets very quickly, which is not a good thing, obviously. My apologies to that. I should have declared war on them before and then jump in. Because if I declare war on them now, we will lose full control of our fleet. So I kind of jumped the gun on that one. And they're still building a lot of battle cruisers, though. Nothing that we cannot handle. Yeah, there's the other fleet. Okay. A Magrathia. That's where the fleet is going. Good old Amagrathia. So, because a good hitchhiker is a guide to the galaxy reference. By the way, there is a really, really, really rare event in the game. Where uh, one of your scientists can find a towel. Or as it's... Uh, they, uh, the population on your ship generally does not know what the towel actually does. Oh yeah, this could definitely not be here. Let's sit you over here right now. Amagrathia. Or it's actually a Magrathora, not a Magrathia. So I guess that's, like, different. But still. Okay, the fleet is gone. Let's declare war. I want this, I want this, I want this. This planet over here I do not want. It's right in the dap smack in the middle of this area over here. And it's one of the contingency uh, attack worlds, so... Diplomatic alert. Uh, war protocols initiated. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Okay, so we're just destroying this here station. That's fine. It'll be fine an a place we can put an observation outpost. And the Ringworld frame has now been completed. Good. And let's just immediately start upgrading there. Let's take down this station. Good. Alright, where is their fleet going? The Voidfarers, not going anywhere, are attacking Stir Spaceport. So they're actually going all the way across the galaxy to go to Stir, which is over here. I'm going to let them jump a little bit, a little bit around. Unless, yeah, they're jumping right towards the corner here. That's fine by me. We're going to have them jump two away if we can. Where do they go? Okay, they're going through here right now, so they're going from here to here to there. That's fine. It gives us time to do what we need to do, which is getting complete. in range. Let's start moving in the fleet. 
So they'll be coming in probably from this angle. Complete. Construction complete. Okay, their fleet is now over here at War Pit. And she gives Hostile orbital nexus engaged. Give us time to get the fleet right where we need them to be. System survey. Complete. So now their capital fleet will most likely jump all the way back. And they will be jumping right on top of our main capital fleet, which is fine. Because if we can engage them at point blank, we should be okay. There's a lot of large missiles in here as well. Where is the rest of the fleet? There it is. A couple of cruisers down. I'm guessing we're gonna lose like a bunch. One of their defensive perimeters has been destroyed. Good. Another defensive perimeter down. Just waiting for the main capital fleet to jump in. They'll most likely jump in from behind, which is fine. Yeah, I thought as much. So they're now over here. They're they're actually going straight for the starport. Funnily enough, fascinating. They are not going for any sort of defense. Hmm. Interesting. Which means that we pretty much have free reign when it comes to attacking their home systems. Interesting. Very interesting. You'd think they'd be jumping back to, the, to defend their space, but they're too busy oh, hanging out in stir of all places. Which is fine, because I can just start taking their worlds. And we just lose one station out of it, and if they lose everything out of it, that's that's great for us. Yeah, all their defensive stations are now gone. Let's start bombing. Uh, let's split up the fleet. So you can go over here, and you can go to Alpha Complex. Construction complete. Alert. Spaceport deconstructed. Yeah, 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 that's fine. I don't really care about the spaceport. Okay, so we're doing maximum bombing. Are they coming back is the real question. The 6th Armada. Yeah, there, it looks like they're jumping back in. No, they're not. Where is the 6th Armada? The 6th Armada. 5th Armada. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're just jumping back in. Interesting. Huh. They're not really doing all that much. System survey complete. So basically, they're just moving their armada back and forth right now. And it's not going to do all that much, to, to be honest. Can't land our armies just yet. But effectively, what we're doing right now is, is we're just forcing their hand and meet them out in the field. Construction complete. And they'll probably jump in right on top of us as we are just invading their first ring world section, or at least my first, well, second, because I still have Sanctuary, but we should be able to drop squad on there right now there we go so right now they won't be able to defend all that much uh, the other complex is already gone planetary pacification protocols initiated this is funny though because we still have not engaged our fleet at all we've had zero losses I'm gonna take this this ring world now Nice and clean. Units have achieved all objectives. We'll do the one over here as well. We get the secondary fleet on standby. Yeah, there's no leader on this one. We should probably merge these together as one blob. Because they're gonna jump in very soon. System survey complete. We get 60 days before they start reforming there. No, actually, it's very quickly. Interesting. 
As soon as they manage to get their fortification up to like a thousand, they should have a better time. A 44% war score should be already be enough to almost be enough. And they'll have to dismantle a big chunk of their fleet anyway. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Yeah, exactly. System survey complete. With a bit of luck, they'll be able to force their fleet all the way back before they can even do anything. Wow. We won this war without ever firing a single shot. That's crazy. That's absolutely now crazy. Units have huh. All objectives. Oop, we can force our we can force our goals. Done. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Easy peasy. That is absolutely crazy. Huh. Fascinating. Uh, let's replace one of them with a administrative array and replace you with a... We're not going to replace that with anything just yet, but we are going to build a pop on top of that because we want a miner. Good. Construction complete. That's that's crazy town. But that actually happened like that. Let's get some stuff on there. Good. And then Robofort. Alpha complex. A lot of food being produced here, which we do not need. Let's replace this with a deployment outpost. Replace you. Got nothing that we need. Replace this with an uplink node. This is all food. Spare parts depot, because we're going to need that. And a basic science lab, I guess. All this other stuff is just food that we're never going to use. Like, right now, we have plus 72 food in our empire. And yes, I'm aware. We, we, we did do a bunch of food clearing earlier on. But yeah, this is a uh, this war is crazy considering the fact they the Irobot now only have one planet, and we've taken everything else from them. Wow, this is a lot of energy. <laughs> oh my god! Wow, twenty five. That's six hundred energy. That's insane, and it costs us absolutely nothing. Uh, we can't merge this, sadly. We've maxed out our main armada, basically. Let's turn this away. And let's just officiate this with uh, making this... Construction complete. Construction complete. Sterilization uh, unit zero two. There we go. New army. Uh, these ones we're going to send home back to Tars because this is going to be our new combat fleet, our secondary combat fleet. We should be able to avoid a lot of this stuff. And we're now at 16 over 16, which is great. Damn, that was the easiest war I've ever fought. No, there was literally no reason for them to fall all the way back. Irabot are now not in a position where they're going to be able to build anything. They're, I doubt... I, I'm not even sure if their ships are free from upkeep because they're Fallen Empire. But still, that's... I didn't lose anything in that. Like, maybe a couple of cruisers, but this is their only planet they have left. Just a single, complete. just a single arid world, and we took Stir back as well. So yeah, construction complete. That's cool, I guess. Let's uh, system survey complete. Yeah, let's take a look at Stir uh, Brim. Actually, it was the one that we. Oh God, oh Jesus, what's, what's going on here? Well, that's not good. Uh, spare de parts depot. Um, all this other stuff. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Um, we'll wait for the spare complete. parts depot to be done, and then we'll upgrade from there. Still, it's 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 it kind of blows me away that 
We've managed to do so much with so little here. And all these other ships, they want to merge with the sterilization unit 01. Oh dear god, that's a lot of ships. <laughs> Uh, and they're all their individual fleets, and they cannot join the sterilization unit because the fleet is full. Technological acquisition successful. So let's just merge them this way. Devastated torpedoes, best ones in the game. Uh, I very rarely use them though. System so, survey complete. There is that. But yeah, we managed to take a ring world, another one. So that that's happening. Let's move complete. the army back to Taurus. How is this, uh, System survey this thing coming along? It's alright. Labs are all there. Yeah, it's almost 500 cruisers in one fleet. It's a lot of firepower. And then we're just using the sterilization unit as a System way to... Why are you not... Merging. Like this is going to require a little bit of micromanagement, I guess. Which is a little bit annoying, but... System survey complete. There we go. And they're now all on their way. And they'll, they'll be merging into the new... Secondary fleet very soon. System survey complete. And we got two solid fleets. Almost all of our fleet power is sitting in number one. Uh, number two is getting there. Obviously, it's only not even a tenth. But we're going to get so much fleet power out of these guys. It's actually kind of crazy how much fleet power we're going to get here. Construction complete. Man, I really wish we could do multiple ring worlds at once. Because that would make life so much easier. Construction complete. This one is still a ways away. 900 days. Just under three years. But yeah. Where do we go from here? Ooh. Well, apparently we found another alien civilization for us. So let's go and do some assisting research. Because apparently... Why are you moving for exploration? I want you to do research. There's nothing to be found here, boys. Um, let's just... Can I just assist research? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, you're assisting research. You're assisting research. Construction okay. complete. But yeah, I got so many Ringworld segments now. And that's, another, that's another 100 pops. It's gonna be 400 pops by the time I'm done. Uh, the amount of... Alert. What do you want? You want Teldar crystals. For 15,000 minerals. We're gonna even take that? Mm. For 30 years. I'm not... Uh, sorry, brother, but I don't want to give you any more firepower than you already have. I know that you're using kinetic weapons on all your stuff. But it's not something that I'm particularly interested in at this moment. What I'm more interested in is uh, the era bot losing all their stuff. Oh wow, autonomous fleets everywhere. Construction complete. As long as they keep on bashing their heads against the contingency, I'm fine with this because it gives us time to uh, expand. Especially with the sterilization unit doing so well. And also I don't have any uprising issues with these guys because they are robots. They don't feel happiness. Man, this is, complete. this is genuinely crazy. Construction complete. I'm going to replace... Some of you are going to yell about this. I'm going to replace this with an administrative array. I know it's a lot of energy that's going to go in there, but bear with me. There is a reason why I'm doing it. There's some math involved there. I'm sure my math is completely... There is energy here that I'm not tapping. Construction complete. Oh. Okay. I lost one of my researchers. That is highly unfortunate because they are worth quite a lot. Okay. Um, that is very unfortunate. Um... 
Let's max this out. Okay, so... Spaceport upgrades. Finally. And we're gonna get some real firepower out of this. We're gonna go up to crazy levels of firepower at this rate. Even though our directly controlled systems are pretty high as well. Maybe I should build some battleships. Technological Let's build some battleships. Successful. Like a lot of them. Like a lot, a lot of them. What do we get? A flak battery. Eh. Armor plus five is nice. Let's go have a chat with Riggins. Let's get some good old minerals. 30k. Empire leader capacity, system sector is 117 months. Habitability is not something that we need. Good. Do we still need this? Well, sent Delta Refuge. That's gone. Uh, there's a Singularity over there. They've got a lot of military stations here, actually. How many F do they even have any FTL traps? Yes, they do. For some reason, this one is on low shield. So you guys at war with somebody? Huh. Well, they're actively hostile to us, so that's the thing, I guess. So, next up, we're going to take this. And then we're going to take this and then push into... Uh, right now, we sadly cannot engage Hideous all that well, uh, mainly because the Bernathi have a huge amount of firepower on their side. And that's not something that we can compete with just yet, even though we are at a minor advantage considering we've got uh, Galactic uh, Contender. Yeah, Galactic Contender, which does 33% uh, damage against Awakened Empires, which is exactly what we want. We're going to wrap up the episode here. Uh, about, you know, about two-thirds of this was completely unknown territory. I did not know that the Erebot were going to be so irresponsible with their with their fleet and just sending it out into the into the wild yonder. I'm still very much surprised that they can upkeep a fleet this big. Uh, this efficiently as well. But yeah. Uh, do they get any weird bonuses? No. Well, Strikecraft damage plus 50%. That's crazy. But I don't get any bonuses to attacking contingency. So as long as they continue to keep attacking them, then I am fine with this. They can they can chill out in their tiny little system for all I care. I'm not particularly worried about that. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take good care of yourselves. And oh my god, it looks like a bird.